Callaway definitely, in my opinion, feels a bit like firmer to me compared to everything else that I've tested, especially off the wedge. It's just a little bit more brittle, I guess, in a way. Whoa. That was a different noise altogether, yeah. wasn't it? The strike was okay, it just really sounded... Really nice, yeah, good in performance. That was, you know, in terms of ball speed, spin, launch, it was right where you were with the other ones. Yeah. Entirely different sound. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to dive into a test that has probably been a little overshadowed by the product launch or, mm. or sort of the, the driver launches in the popular products of 2024. But really, I think if you take a deep dive into what the OEM's messaging is this year, two of the major players, the two biggest players, uh, Taylor and Callaway, were both pushing a different narrative this year. Mm -hmm. And that was on the developments in their golf ball category. We were invited, unfortunately, we couldn't make the trip to TaylorMade in uh, South Carolina to yeah. their ball plant in uh, early December. Um, and it was interesting to me that they were going to their ball plant to do their launch for yeah, their yeah. QI10 line. And I always think, why are they doing that? What's the messaging around that? It's that they really want to tell you something. Yeah. They really want the focus to be on something. So while they'll attract you with the driver, while you're there, they'll want to tell you about TP5X and yeah. why it's new and improved. Callaway, um, while slightly more subtly, we're doing a very, very similar thing. And you will probably in the next little while see a lot of brand, I think actually this is the end of this week, you will see a lot of testing, com comparison testing uh, with other peers in the, in the golf ball space, saying that their golf ball is by far the best. Not that they've ever made, that anyone has ever yeah, made. Yeah. Yeah, bold claims. It's a bold one. It's a, it's a big time bold one. And you get titles to just kind of sit back and make a great product, make a great ball, and, and they have the lion's share of the market. They always have. Um, and they don't really kind of say that about their own golf ball. We're that much better than yeah. everyone else. But it, it just... It just moves along that way that most people trust a Titleist golf ball. Yeah, I mean, for the longest time, they were, they would always sit in a meeting and go, we're a golf ball company. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. now they've changed the narrative too. Yeah. We're a golf company. We sell sure. balls and clubs and, and everything. So um, probably why they've kind of sat mm -hmm. back is they know they had they had good product. It's a good, uh, it's a good uh, point that to make, actually, Mikey, because I think that may have been the shift that was required at Titleist for them to become the brand that they are today, totally. which is top to bottom, probably the the the, the number one company in golf in performance, top yeah. to bottom. Uh, I would pretty much argue that with anyone, mm -hmm. and I wouldn't feel I wouldn't feel like you'd need to take a backward step in any no, department. No. Um, so we're going to test it. Um, so we've got it, 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 there's so many models of golf ball now. It's actually somewhat difficult to pick which one you're going to test. We have Cali Chrome Tour. Mm -hmm. This is what replaced the LS golf ball. Um, and the reason we've, we've got it in this test is because they have now went for a much, much softer cover. They've went for a little bit more spin and performance around the greens. So it, it does move in line, less, less in line with a left dash Pro right. V1X and a little bit closer, I think, to, um, to a, a, a Pro V1X, just the standard one. Yep. Now, I, I, you, you probably would be right if you argued Chrome Soft X is still the closest Correct. to yeah, this. Yeah. But where Chrome, uh, Chrome Tour is moving is in this direction. Mm -hmm. Then you've got TP5X. Two models ago, I want to say in, in 20, it was actually the sim launch. So whenever, whenever that was for us, I think 2019, I sat with the TaylorMade uh, executives and they, they, they asked about what do we think of their clubs, their equipment. And, and I kind of had a comment that I thought their golf ball spun too low yeah, yeah. Uh, for the average golfer. And they disagreed. And then subsequently the 2020, Two or TP5 or maybe 21 TP5 came out and, yeah. and and they it spun a lot more yeah. right so they they internally in R&D knew that but they moved in a different direction and then this year they've got the same sort of spin profile they just have a much much faster cover uh, five layers is obviously their unique deal inside the golf ball they have the fastest five layer golf ball uh, in the market they might have the only five layer golf ball in the market but they're very bullish on the performance of this one. Good ball. I mean, we've dabbled with it a yeah. little bit, but this test will be interesting. The moral of the story is they can't all be the best. Yeah. 
they can't all be the number one golf ball and you know what we want to dive into. Not that this is by any means the definitive test of, you know, because we're not we're not testing enough elements. We're not testing the new aerodynamics package and the Callaway. We're we're not testing it downrange. We know that. But we are testing for ball speed, launch, spin, uh, standard deviation, et cetera, et cetera. Right? So some impactful things that you guys can start to formulate your own thoughts based on these three uh, golf balls up against each other. Yeah. All right, Michael, we're going to start with a 50-yard wedge shot. Okay. All right, Mikey, um, we're going to start with a Callaway, Chrome okay. Soft Tour. Uh, let's, let's start with that one. I remember when we'd done the test, and it was Left Ash, and uh, I think it was Left Ash and Chrome Soft LS last time. Although the golf ball wasn't designed that way, it actually had a harder cover uh, originally. Right. I was actually really impressed with the, the partial wedge spin. Okay. It spun higher than left dash did uh, in our testing. So the fact that they've leaned more towards that, I think is quite, quite interesting. The one thing I'm going to be interested to hear what you think is the feel. Yeah. And, and obviously pick up the sound as right. well. Right, okay. All right, 50 yards. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Michael, let's switch into the uh, TP5. Whoa. That was a different noise altogether, yeah. wasn't it? The strike was okay. It just really sounded... Really nice, yeah. Good in performance. It was, you know, in terms of ball speed, spin, launch, right where you were with the other ones. Yeah. Entirely different sound. That one sounded more like the other ones. Still higher pitch a little bit. That was nice. I can't get over how much louder that ball is. Yeah, it's significant for sure. Okay, Pro V1X, Michael. Old Faithful. Sounds more like a Tailwind than a Callaway. Yeah. Surprising? Uh, Surprising yeah. to me. I didn't think it would sound as clicky as that. It was a nice strike, actually. All right, uh, TP5. Okay, Mikey, probably one X. Yeah. It's good. It's good looking flight. Yeah. She could just hit it like that all the time. Good. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, seven iron. Call it the midway point. What's what is your sort of uh, experience so far? What's how are you finding it? Um, I'm trying not to look at like every shot numbers wise. I don't want it that to play in my head. Mm -hmm. I love the feel of TP5X. Like I could go play golf with it tomorrow all day long. Um, Callaway definitely, in my opinion, feels a bit like firmer to be compared to everything else that I've tested. Just off, the, like, especially off the wedge, it's just a little bit more you, brittle, I guess, in a way. Because it was the TP5X that was clicky. Yeah, but that, to me, the, it's funny. The clicky doesn't feel hard. Clicky huh. just, just, just more sound than anything. Really? TP5X feels very Pro V1X to me. And that, that's why I guess everyone's own feel is is totally unique. Why yeah. it's so hard to cast a blanket across. They need a robot. Mm hmm.
five. Pro V1X. All right, Michael, last but not least, yeah. big dog. Let's see what happens. Last one. All right, pretty good. Is that the first time you've done a ball test with us? Yep, first and last. You're welcome, folks. Thumbs up or thumbs down, <laughs> you'll never see it again. <laughs> Regardless, whether you enjoyed it or whether you didn't, it's one and done. Ball test is legitimately our hardest test, there's no doubt about it. You have to, you have, to have the uh, delivery parameters, you have to have the launch condition parameters. You've got to be managing both sides um, for it to be a valid test, and uh, that, that's the challenge with it. It's amazing the difference. We normally do head-to-head -head one ball, so it's like Pro V1 versus Pro V1X yeah. or TP5, TP5X. It is amazing the difference. You're adding 33% more work, maybe more, mm -hmm. um, but it's at least a third of, of the extra work. So um, on the 50 yard shot, acoustically there was quite quite a big difference. And mm -hmm. if we look at the carry and everything, it, it doesn't really show it. But I do think um, there, was, there was a little bit of performance difference, notably the Pro V1X coming out a little bit lower in yeah. spin air. Yeah. Um, we started with Chrome Soft and it, it was quite good. We yeah. went to TB5 and we kind of went, oh, geez, that's... The first shot, I was like... That was clicky and... But you said it didn't feel that way. No, no. Honestly, like, uh, last week when we were away, I played the TB5X. I didn't think it was that loud or mm. anything like that. The minute you get in here, the acoustics is totally different. 
And that might be interesting to, to what, you know, if you have a, a sort of previous bias, if you like, to that one, because mm. sound is feel, yeah. right? So, like, it, you know, if, if you hear something that's, that's it's hard to imagine something being soft when it sounds right. hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So over into the, the full pitch and wedge now, across the board, very, very similar, obviously, carry numbers. Started to see some differences here. Um, we've got kind of like a lower mm. spin, a mid spin, and then a much, much higher spin. Yeah. Um, this is the first time I kind of started to pay attention to, okay, these these are a little bit different here. Launch is pretty close to... Pretty close. Yeah. TP5 just sort of seemed to... You actually struck TP5 really, really yeah, yeah, nicely. Yeah. Uh, I think that might be marginally why um, it, it launched up a little bit. I think there's a lot of velocity coming off that one. Let's see here on seven. Did we start to see same thing? So yeah, Chrome yeah. Soft Tour. Oh. So I get the SLS replacement golf ball coming out a little bit lower spin, something in the middle with TP5X and then higher with Pro V1X. There's no doubt about it. There's a reason we recommend this yeah. to so many of our clients. Uh, it, it does, it, it ticks the box. Okay, last but not least on the big dog, and, and we'll, we'll, we'll sort of round this all up in a, in a second here, but ball speed for you, Mikey, very comparable. Yeah. Um, the healers today. Yeah, you, you did. You lived, you lived kind of in that sort of high heel, but the most important thing is you were kind of doing the same thing with every yeah, driver. Yeah, yeah. So you're one, one point, 104 point something, um, the efficiency was very comparable. But when we look over in the, uh, the the launch and spin, that one was actually, so Pro V1X was aided by you. The, the, the one really good strike you gave yeah, me was, yeah, yeah. was Pro V1X. Yeah. And it launched high and spun low. I think that's where that kind of average is there. But it performed really, really mm -hmm. well for you. So if we kind of look at which one you would take out that for sure Pro V1X, yeah, right? Yeah. Red sits above. Seven iron for you, you're looking for some spin. Yeah. Right. Good ball speed, good good spin, good dispersion. Stand, Launch dropped a deviation. little bit. Spin, friction, yeah, right, okay, pulls it right. down, right? So, uh, pitch and wedge, again, bit more spin for you, yeah. you know, to mitigate flyers, more better distance control. And then, obviously, back to the 50 yarder, we'll take a little bit of, of kind of what we've yeah, got yeah. going on there. Extra. So I think across the board, regardless of kind of like massive advancements, and, and again, we're doing indoor testing, guys. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. we're, we're able to test speed. So whatever the claim may be, it, it sure can be around aerodynamics. You know, there's, yeah. there's different patterns, obviously. They've got the hex pattern in amongst. I mean, it's got actually an interesting little mix. So you'll see now with the uh, Chrome Soft Golf Balls, you've standard dimple. Standard dimple and hex. Dimple. And you've got hex dimples, mm -hmm. you've got tiny ones, you've got bigger ones. So the way they're clustered, very, very interesting to use different shapes. Um, Titleists don't do that as much. They take round dimples and they, they obviously alter the size of them and trying to kind of obviously manage yeah, spin yeah, yeah. And, and sort of uh, make sure it's good in, in different wind conditions, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, you've, you've got different dimple patterns that will provide you stability in totally. different ways. But I, I'm still, for you, Pro V1X. Colin, Pro V1X, your golf ball for, yeah. the, for the season, Mikey. I mean, that's good to know, because I honestly, I love that TP5X, just when we were playing with it, chipping around the greens, rolling putts with it, yeah. like, it felt good. Got a hole in one with it, so I was like, oh, maybe that's the new ball. Not but, too bad. Um, I mean, Pro V1X I've played literally for, geez, I'm 28, I think I've played it for 20 years. The, the one golf ball I'd throw in the mix, and, and hopefully you guys are, you know, already, you know, thinking this before I'm even saying it. The one golf ball I'd throw in the mix is Chrome totally. Soft uh, X. Yeah, yeah, the X. I'd like that, to try that's the That's the X. golf ball that kind of is going to come closest to Pro V1X, and um, I, I think that would be well worth you doing doing that test. Mm -hmm. You like a, a bridge, a Strix on um, diamond? diamond? Yeah, I do like a diamond, yeah. I like the cover of a diamond. The feel of it? Yeah, I mean, there's times you middle of the fairway on the green and two, mm -hmm. and then you look at the the ball that I play now, and it's all chipped, mm -hmm. and there's no reason for it. You Strix on diamond, it could you could play two rounds with it. Yeah, um, Bridgestone, uh, I think the mm -hmm. yep. the Turby XS is another golf ball that would fit in the mix here quite nicely. So I think there's probably a further test. I know you love a golf ball test, oh, so why don't we good. do it all again? Oh, I can't wait. Uh, Stay so, tuned. <laughs> Chrome Soft X and and Bridgestone. Um, Turby XS 
are the two other ones I would love to throw in the mix here. Will Baldus Tiger play? Now? Well, he moved to X. He, he was always XS, Bridgestone. Ah, perfect. Uh, I'll be perfect for but he, I don't know if he actually don't know if he's still on the uh, the the, the sure. lower spin one. I think he might be. Just call him. Ask him. You're both getting old, so it's understandable. We'll yeah. Go from the distance. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, hard for us to see that massive leaps have been made uh, with the golf balls. I think we've always said TP5 and Chrome Soft have, made, have been good golf balls in the past. Hard to see a significant, sizable shift yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in, in terms of performance. Um, you know, it's all as individual as, as the clubs being fit themselves. Being fit for the right golf ball, tools like Ballnamic from Ping and what they do. You know, I know our fitters use that in yeah. the bays and they use that with our clients. It, it's, it's, it's so important that you match the golf ball to what your needs are, whether that's, you know, spin, ball speed, launch, around the greens, whatever you place the, the highest priority in. There's a golf ball out there for you. You just have to go through the process of testing. And I think that's where Ballnamic does an incredible job of just maybe shortcutting that to two or three. Totally. Buy a couple of sleeves of each and, and go do some testing and then come to your own conclusion. Love it. Good stuff. All right, guys, let us know what you think. Uh, I think once the, the driver sort of marketing campaigns have, have sort of calmed down a little bit, I do think you'll hear more about golf balls now. I actually think that's coming in the next few weeks. So uh, hopefully this one you know, fits nicely into to that kind of uh, release schedule in, in the marketing from the bigger brands. And, and you guys can, again, make up your own mind because ultimately that's what this is all about. 100%. Good stuff. All right, stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.